Since its inception in 2011, Minecraft has taken the world by storm and only increased in popularity. With popularity comes innovation, drama, scorn, and competition. Those four ideas lead to bootlegging, defined as the illegal manufacture, distribution, or sale of goods. Originally coined as a phrase for alcohol, the term bootleg can be used for video games. Super Mario World 64 is a notable example. But today, we'll focus on four soft targets I've locked eyes with. Most of these are online games requiring no download, but I'll toss in one that needs installation to keep things fresh. And besides, if you've seen my Pokey.com video, you know how I feel about modern online exclusive gaming content. But am I willing to make an exception for these four? Let's find out. I'll spend around five minutes on each game, summarizing my experiences for you all to hear. Leave a comment below about what game you like the most or if you hate all of them. Anyway, it's time to begin. Would you believe me if I said ZombieCraft is the name of the first two games? One is ZombieCraft.io, a shooter. The other is called ZombieCraft Game, a hack and slash. ZombieCraft.io isn't hard to get. You make a world like the original Minecraft and then play. But instead of the usual mobs or trees you interact with, you spawn with various tools. The only creatures around are sheep and zombies. For some reason, the sheep deal way more damage. Pretty shallow game. All you have to do is go around and pick stuff up and kill every now and then. Zombiecraft the Slasher is one of the worst games I have ever played. What the fuck do I even say about this? Bro, I've never had the displeasure of playing an RPG-like game where you can't even do anything other than attack. Where are the stat upgrades? Why does killing the giant zombie, which I did off-camera, not level you up 8 billion times? Why does Harrowbrain wear red and not have glowing eyes? Landing an attack cancels out a zombies, so you can theoretically take zero damage if you don't get jumped by multiple. Next game. Zombie Death Quota is a Steam downloadable initially released on the Xbox 360. At first glance, I see many positive reviews for the game, which is a shock considering that most free downloadables have mixed reviews. After beating the first level, I realize that most people who gave this shit a thumbs up are incredibly charitable. You can't give neutral ratings on Steam, so it makes sense. It's better than the other two I played so far, but only 7 negative reviews out of 67? There's some extreme glaze going on, dude. Got me fucked up. We return to Pokey.com for New Barcher, and I can safely say that this website is not beating the trash zombie game allegations because, my god, this is even worse than the hack and slash I previously mentioned. Just look at the footage. Look at it. Look. Are you looking? Sink this shit into your retinas. Now bleach your eyes. If you want some excellent zombie killing fun, buy Minecraft itself instead of a bootleg. Or if you can't afford it, play Zombie Defense. I have a playlist of that series on this channel. But if you choose to go Minecraft, just be careful. There is an influx of weird ass YouTubers in that space. I don't want you lot to become one of them. Anyhow, this is Spono, the zombie killer. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.